Hello everyone, here we are again. I'm going to show you our avocado trees, the house avocado trees at nine months. Remember my first video was uh, during uh, transplanting and uh, at three months. And now here we are at, at nine months. So after transplanting, this is uh, our upper block and uh, you see how progressive they've grown and uh, most of them have new flashes after the long rains which uh, have just entered. We had a little showers last night and I think uh, this is a kickstart of the cold season now. So you can see they are doing really well very very impressive this doesn't have new flashes but we have some uh, of new flashes and remember these are at nine months and uh, some are really tall and others are shorter you know growth depends on each uh, person as well so the trees will also grow at the same pace some small, some tall, some uh, short. And uh, we are quite impressed by the progress. And uh, remember last time I showed you that section that had maize. See, we've reduced the section. So we have uh, a new uh, seedlings that have been transplanted on the on the section that has not been cleared but uh, we are working on clearing but uh, uh, those are not uh, grafted so we planted them so that uh, we can graft at the farm and see how they are going to do so you can see this is budding to fruit i mean to flower uh, we are going to monitor the ones that are budding to flower and see how the progress will be, uh, whether we are going to uh, to remove the flowers or what we are going to do. That is something we've decided to monitor first before we start removing the flowers. Uh, they are yet to flower. You can see some are quite big. These are at nine months. From transplanting, see this is quite quite big at nine months from transplanting and uh, remember I told you we are using a uh, drip irrigation so it's a sunny morning beautiful morning and um, Misha these are our main uh, system the main supply and the the block sections for each we usually open this valve uh, when we are watering this section and then uh, here we have a papaya that has grown and this one uh, the graft dried so we are going to get this one grafted. It happens. So you can see for yourself. And this is in Kitui County, as I told you in my previous video. This one also the graft died. And it, if, when the graft dies, we don't... Uh, we don't uproot it because we realize that uh, they shoot up again. So the graft died and then uh, the rootstock died up to the seed and then they got a new shoot and you can see it's healthy. So remember this is nine months and you can see even the, the stalk is thickening. So it's getting enough nutrients in our water. Uh, we had a couple that uh, the graft dried. 
you can see this graft died and uh, the rootstock did not die so it sh it's shooting up from here so it's going to be grafted oh i don't know whether i've shown you that correctly this is it that's a stock and this is a the new shoot which will be grafted and uh here we have a tiny one that is flashy and it's got flowers but definitely this one we are going to remove the flowers because it's too young and they're uh, too weak to carry any fruit so we have this section that has about uh, uh, 150 and then uh, this uh, section has not been cleared we are in the process of clearing after the rains so these are the traditional ones as you can see they are doing really well we planted them and uh, we are going to graft them and see how they are going to do and uh, we believe that they are going to to succeed once grafted here. That has got two shoots from one uh, seed. And as we go along, these are our papayas. Very delicious. We planted them as uh, windbreakers too. And uh, they're really nice nice papayas so i'm going to take you to this section that we had maize before those are the tradition of uh, seedlings to be grafted on the in the farm we have about uh, 200 of these uh, but this section has taken a uh, hundred up to to the far end so the section that has that maize is the one that we are going to plant another 100 and then uh, this section with maize didn't do well as well because of the rains we are going to clear these and then uh, next season we are planting avocado so this block will be holding about uh, for, I mean, uh, from there, this area, the one that has maize, the one that we planted, the traditional one, and the upper part will have about uh, 600 avocado trees. And that's a house avocado. We have a few fuetes that uh, we planted for cross pollination. And uh, now this section has about a uh, hundred, the cleared section as you can see. And uh, they also got uh, new flashes uh, budding to fruit. But we have a tiny one that we realized the other day here. It got some avocados, but we are planning to remove them. That is one and two and it has some flowers it was actually struggling before we didn't know why but uh, we've already fertilized it again with the goat manure see that branch with the flower we are going to remove those ones and uh, see a bit they yeah, are this is nine months and uh, that's all for the upper block. I'll give you a video on the lower block. And uh, see the papayas. Let me show you a glimpse of uh, how they fruit. Really quite big papayas. Sweet. And at the moment they are ripening. A whole big lot. See, these ones are already 
mature. We pick them every day. This is a male one that we don't uh, cut. We keep it to pollinate the others so that they can be sweet. See. So this is so far so good and I uh, hope you've learned uh, something from this uh, project which is in Kitui County, Ukambani. Everybody nowadays is asking if they can do well. As you can see at nine months they're doing it really well. So bye for now. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in my next uh, video in a couple of months.